hard to believe this day has finally arrived. So many wonderful memories to look back on. But today, just like the song says, we are starting over. Today marks a new beginning for us where we begin to make new memories. I'm so proud of the man that you've become and I'm equally as proud to become your wife today. You've taught me so much more than dance and you truly make me a better person. I love you with all my heart and all my soul. In this world, things will change, but you remain a sinner. Happy wedding day. Today, I will marry my best friend, my business partner, and the love of my life. I'm the luckiest man in the world to have found you and the love that we share, an extraordinary love that has pulled us together and has given us great passion, strength, happiness, and peace. I am honored to be your husband. I love you, Rex. Friends, we gather this day to celebrate the marriage of Catherine Ann Harper and Rex Bryant Jones, to witness their vows, to pledge our support, and to seek God's blessing upon them. As Catherine and Rex make their promises this day, families are joined together, friendships are strengthened, and a new community of love is formed. So let us all surround Catherine and Rex with our affection and prayer, giving thanks for their love for one another and for all the ways that God's love is made manifest in our lives. And above all, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ dwell in your hearts. Before God and these witnesses. Before God and these witnesses. To be your loving and faithful husband. To be your loving and faithful husband. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In joy and in sorrow. And in joy and in sorrow. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. 
As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. I, Catherine, take you Rex. To be my husband. To be my husband. And I promise before God and these witnesses. And I promise before God and these witnesses. To be your loving and faithful wife. To be your loving and faithful wife. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. As long as we both shall live. Present to you, Mr. and Mrs. Rex Jones. I will never stop that your life would be long, that it would be filled with happiness, obviously that it would be filled with love that would grow every day of your life, and that we would wish that your dance through life would be just as graceful as it was earlier this evening, and that it would give such great pleasure to all of your friends, to Rex and to Catherine. Speaking from my own experience, I think friendships is the whole key. And you guys have already faced a lot of adversity and come through it. And there's no doubt in my mind that you guys can take on anything from what you've done already. But what I found a great quote that applied to my wife and I, and that is, friendship is a foundation on which is built an enduring relationship. And uh, once you have the friendship, you keep that, you can make it through anything, because you already have. You face diversity and you come through with your love intact and your commitment strong. Rob is rereading uh, one of our favorite books, Boys in the Boat, for any of y'all that have ever read it. And I think it speaks to what marriage is and how you keep together. He said, it's hard to make that boat go as fast as you want to. The enemy is the resistance of the water. But that very water is what supports you. And that very enemy is your friend. So is life. The very problems you must overcome also support and make you strong in overcoming them. You've built your boat today, guys, in the vows that you just took. So we're going to look forward to seeing you grow stronger with what the water brings to you. 
This is who we are, and this is where it starts.